Uh, let me ask you about this proposal to tax sugary drinks as a way to fight obesity and finance health care reform. You oppose this. Tell me what's wrong with it, why you think that this should be changed. Well, I, well hopefully it's not changed that it shouldn't happen. And, and I'm saying that because there is absolutely no scientific evidence to prove that a tax on soft drinks, non-alcoholic beverages, that employ collectively with our supply chain three and a half million people here in this country, that a tax on our products, non-alcoholic beverages, will reduce the body mass index, that will help create a, a that solve the obesity. It is a very complex problem. What we need, and, and I can tell you, there's, there's evidence. I mean, uh, a study by the George Mason University in Washington said that a 15, uh, proved that a 15 cent tax on soft drinks would reduce body mass index from 40 to 39.98, 0.02 reduction.